I agree 100%. Welcome everyone to another episode of A Bright Side. Today we have returned to Gwythian Beach. It is our favourite beach in Cornwall. The day is hot. The sky, hardly a cloud up there. Nice and blue. So we thought, heck it, let's go to the beach. Let's go check it out. Shelley and the kids. We had to park a little ways away. If you know Gwythian Beach, you're kind of coming off the road um, uh, to, to access it and you, you have car parks and all there along the side. Uh, we had to park in there today because the main car park, which is obviously the close one, chock-a-block. Absolutely mental parking. Everyone was like taking advantage of any little gap and parking spot they could find, even sort of creating new rows out of nothing really. So. Uh, it was very tight and um, not good in there, so we've had to park a little bit higher up. But the five minutes extra walking is completely worth it. Don't you think, Shell Bell? Exactly. It's free up there, you have to pay over there, so, a little hack. There are some lovely homes up here, I assume they're holiday homes. I assume, I'm not sure on that, but um, I would have thought so. How about that for a view over towards St Ives? So there is the full car park, and when I say full, I mean it's beyond capacity, which is why we've had to uh, park higher up. But uh, look at this for a view. This caught my eye. What is this? Four concrete columns. I thought initially it was like some sort of World War II defensive pillbox. You know, good view over the bay. But it doesn't really look like a pillbox. What the heck is that? If you know, let me know in the comments, because I'd like to know what that is. Right, so from the steps you can either carry on straight or turn around left. We tend to go left. So this beautiful beach here at Gwythian is tidal, so you've got to be aware of that. So when you do go left, um, this area can be cut off, although you can clamber over rocks, but this bit is usually okay. But the sea, you know, the sea level goes right up to sort of where you can see my finger. It does come up quite high. And also on the right hand side of the beach or straight ahead as you come down from the steps, you cannot take dogs on this part of the, on this part of the beach, but actually you can take dogs on the left side. I always love this little like cliff tunnel that you walk through. Well, not a tunnel exactly, it hasn't got a roof, but you know what I mean. Right here by the sheep's dip. Right, we found our spot. We often, um, we often kind of find an area, if we can, around these rocks, because there's always these rock pools, tide pools, whatever you want to call them, and we're a little bit away from the cliff. There's not much shelter today. Up in that bit, there's a little bit of shade, um, but actually, because of the direction of the sun, most of the beach is quite sunny and exposed. We do have sunscreen, so of course we will be applying our sunscreen, but this is a nice spot. Oh, daylight today. Plenty of hydration.
All right, AJ, you gonna get in? <laughs> Shelly spotted a little uh, shoal of fish. A little baby little fish. Look at the size of them; they're tiny. Making up my own music because I think it sounds better. La 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 la. Look at this. Hey, you two, you're digging a hole. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> it's like a well you've got down to water. It is a well. Shelly's gone in that direction for a swim. She'll be back directly. I hope. Right, this is my proof that I'm in. That is my toes floating in the sea. And it's actually quite delicious once you get in. That's my version of St Michael's Mount. Yay! Looks pretty good. You've got the, the sea that uh, goes around and the castle. I like that. What's this nasty cloud covering up the sun? That's a bit annoying. <laughs> you add into the castle that I built. The ah! Just thinking, can you imagine what what would happen? What would people do if the kraken came ashore? I'm not talking about like the squid kraken, you know, the squid version of the beast that was portrayed in Pirates of the Caribbean, but the the sort of like the kraken that was portrayed in uh, uh, not Jason and the Argonauts. Which one was it? It was Clash of the Titans. Imagine, imagine if that came ashore. Or you know, like or like you know, like with Clash of the Titans. No, that one. Uh, hang on, let me think. Jason the Argonauts. That one was when Talos, that man of iron, sort of like just strode across, and it destroyed the ship. Well, who wrote that there? Who indeed wrote that there? Oh wow, this is a deeper, uh, this is a deeper tide pool. I, a little bit of a swirl in there as well. The tide is now starting to come in. So what we're gonna do um, is probably head over in that direction. We're almost done to be honest. We're, uh, we've had a little bit of time here on the beach, but the sea now is starting to encroaching on those rocks and the sheep dip so that's kind of like the cue to start thinking about maybe heading over to the other side of the beach because uh, like I said earlier in the video this is a tidal beach so you don't want to get stuck over here and then you have to clamber up the cliffs because uh, you know that ain't good my goodness I think the coast guard might be telling the uh, people who are all camped out to maybe start thinking about moving yeah, quite a few people now are uh, taking heed of the sea coming in. Most people are starting to walk over in this direction now. Okay, we made it through to the other side. So we've just come through that gap there where we've been advised to leave. Well, we haven't because we've, uh, we kind of know to leave, but uh, people who are not so much in the know 
the lifeguards have had to tell them to leave that half of the beach now. So this side's going to get a lot fuller. Unless, of course, that stream of people would uh, indicate that maybe a lot of people are leaving now. We're going to leave the video there. I do hope you enjoyed it. We had super fun making it. As always, thank you for watching. Do all the usual YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, smash the bell. We are on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at The Bright Side. So check us out there. So from us to you, cheers and gone. Man, now we're gonna walk back to the car.